Scorpios, welcome my loves. Weekly energy in here, weekly reading. Last week in September. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus loves. This week starts from the time you view this video or from the 24th going all the way to the 30th of September. Quite an important event this week regards the new moon in Libra. If you really look for stability, balance into your life, now is the time to manifest. As you know, Libra is all about balance, stability, and rule by Venus could be balance your lifestyle or your love connections and so on. And so speaking of Mercury retrograde, still in retrograde, but it's returning from Libra to Virgo. A little more milder energy since Mercury is Virgo's planet going away from Libras. However, will return again just at the end, which happens that when we start the month of October. So here we are, Scorpios. Let's see what we have for you this week and, of course, how the energies are playing there for you. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. And a Three of Pentacles. There's something here that tells you no with capital letters. I'm not going to do this again this doesn't work again or this doesn't work because it's kind of like if somebody here thought they can you know go to the distance for whatever they want they might have a big surprise in here for some of you you clearly don't trust someone and that's why you do what you clearly know works for you King of Wands, Five of Wands, Justice, Two of Cups, Temperance. There is someone here who states that they love you and they do want to come back. But you know, they they could be separated. I have Aries Leo or Sag. Libra energy here. For some of you, you do have Libra in the chart or have Aries in the chart. And I see here there's certain arguments regards whomever is this person or whatever they present. The five of wands here, Hierophant. Too many arguments, whatever it is, because it seems here there is a Scorpio, single Scorpio, divorce, separated from their person. Okay, but also there is not because only this person, it seems here this person has a lot of care, they do care, but other people also might be a big factor here. Eight of Cups, they could walk away in the first place because they didn't felt loved or whatever. I have Taurus and Virgo energy here. And eight of wands so for some of you if you are not being married with this person this person could be married with someone and they now left the person and they might call you might say hey I left here but the fact is you don't trust them because they lie to you and also if you block them they will find a way to get in touch with you okay for some of you, you could have an argument finding out that they've been in some sort of con connection, but know that this person does love you. Why they want to come back here? The temperance energy, two of pentacles, five of pentacles, five of cups, and a star. Yes, they do want to rekindle this connection, but I feel here... They come back, and my apology for those of you who probably don't agree with this, but they had a 
two options and one option clearly didn't really work for them so the next option is you would you like to be an option doesn't seem like but indeed here they they want to come back they have regret that they walk away whatever they've done and also probably they think oh it took so long time to understand who do i love really why you are in this two of swords Knight of Pentacles, you are moving slowly forward because that's how you choose so and very much reflecting what you want forward. The Seven of Swords clarify we have King of Pentacles, Judgment and Page of Pentacles. So somebody here thought, you know, the grass is greener on the other side and it seemed like not quite. And that's the thing here. For those of you who've been married and you separated from this person, the emotional fulfillment was not there. As well, other people, a lot of involvement in all this. And probably this person could listen to other people and not the person who they're with. And that's quite a shame for some of you or for some who you are dealing because they didn't know who is their person. And that's why we always speak here, Scorpios, choose your tribe. It's very, very, very important. Somebody here has strong Virgo in the chart. Could be you, could be the other person. Absolutely. Let's see here. The best advice. Goodness. My Scorpios. Give hugs and, you know, love and blessings to all of you. Because indeed here certain people forget to heal before they go somewhere. The best advice. It's your own major Arcana, death. A lot of things changed. And you've been changed with those changes. Moon, you are not into any, any secrets anymore. Or it's kind of, if I'm afraid to go in again or to trust again, why should I be with this person? Because, you know... I feel here the comfort zone being compromised here. Nine of Cups, the Devil, Eight of Swords. Somebody here is probably having certain certain things to work very strongly on them. Somebody here could have a drinking problem or a problem they don't want to recognize. So the fact that you are quite confident and taking action what is right, that makes you probably the better person. Indeed here someone doesn't see certain things. Or a cycle that's going back and forth. But yes, following your intuition here, you will find the way. Yes, really, probably for many, many of you, don't accept whatever this person does or whatever they've done or how they've done or... But you know your intuition will lead you where you need to go. So quite a week for, for some Scorpios out there. Follow your intuition, loves. Follow your intuition. Probably one of the best things to be done, especially in this kind of situations with this kind of people. Because you know, loves, deep knowing. You know, you're very in tune 
with the energies and the young energy action energy so the energy here that surrounds you you are quite familiar and you are familiar with the steps you need to take for some of you yes you still care for for this person you're still thinking of this person but i feel here you are more likely going towards healing and knowing that you are just an option, you want to heal that too, because you don't want to be an option, but the only option. So yes, my lovely Scorpios, that's quite um, a thing here for some of you, especially regards the ones we do love, the ones we probably at one point we really cherished or really thought are the one in fact you know in everything is a lesson and we need to to look deeper and for some of you you might be a little hypersensitive or very very in tune because your intuition is very very high there know that look for that and a knowledge and of course wish all of you a beautiful blessed and peaceful week ahead see ya loves namaste